and there's a debate set up tonight with members of opposing parties debating education issues, and he will be what, speaking to the opposing parties of what sort? Political yeah. parties. Oh, really? Yeah, Representatives of either major political parties. And uh, what, he's an expert in special education? Yes. Articulate? Yes, he's a psychologist, yeah. teacher. Cowan's whole life has centred around education, first his own and then other people's. The road to Yarralumla began at this modest house in Brighton Road, St Kilda. The son of a commercial traveller, young Zellman went to a series of schools in the St Kilda district before going on to become Ducks of Scotch College. By 1938 he graduated from Melbourne University and in the next year, aged just 19, he became what was claimed to be the world's youngest tutor and lecturer. They called him the Boy Wonder and Zellman joked that it was this flattering photograph alone which won him the Rhodes Scholarship in 1940. He continued his brilliant career at Oxford and became a professor at age 31. After a series of top university posts in the 50s and 60s, he was suddenly thrust onto the front pages of the newspapers when his students were involved in spectacular disputes on the campus of Queensland University. The students accused him of using police to quell protest. Cowan denied it, but he left little doubt that he was a law and order man. There may be a situation, and again I say I do not know what happens, in which violence and disruption breaks out. Under those circumstances, I am committed to see that orderly processes are observed. And I will always do my best to ensure this. Sir Zelman Cowan is the sixth Australian Governor-General and the biographer of Sir Isaac Isaacs, another Jewish lawyer and Australia's first native-born Governor-General. But Isaac Isaacs is not the man who sticks in the public mind. It is this man, Sir John Kerr, whose memory officialdom would like to see quietly erased. This is the Governor-General who left the wounds that Zelman Cowan is meant to repair. Uh, he spoke in his first Australia Day message of applying a touch of healing and uh, came to the conclusion that the best way of doing that was simply to get on with the job and let others, uh, by observation, see what he was doing and come to their own conclusions about what his attitude was to the job and how he was performing it. Proclamation by His Excellency the Governor-General of Australia. David Smith is Zelman Cowan's official secretary, his right-hand man. He was, in fact, the same person who announced, or at least tried to announce, that fateful decision by his former boss, Sir John Kerr. The decision to dismiss a Prime Minister and change the course of history. Well, may we say, God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor-General. But in fact, Governors-General don't need or seek blessings from politicians. No matter how turbulent their era, they must go quietly on their way. The last man who occupied this office, Sir John Kerr, has been doing nicely in the south of England. And Zelman Cowan and David Smith have followed in the wake of the storm he left with barely a ripple of public concern. A precise formula, right, I think? <laughs> 